Hello Grade 9s, the purpose of this video is to go through the circular flow diagram with you. Your starting point for the circular flow of an economy, Grade 9s, is splitting it up into its different components. First of all, you need to split your economy up into markets and into role players. Now your markets, you get two markets. You get the market for goods and services. And you get the market for factors. Now remember your factors of production. Your role players at this stage are going to be households and businesses. Now remember, your households are the owners of your factors of production. Your businesses use these factors of production to provide goods and services. What are your factors of production? Let's just remind ourselves what they are. We're talking about land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Those are your four main factors of production. So your households sell these, these factors of production to the businesses in exchange for income and the businesses then convert those factors of production into goods and service which they then sell back to the households in exchange for income. So we're going to put what I've just explained here now to you is the circular flow. What we're going to do is we're just going to put it on a nice diagram that makes a little bit more sense than all these blue and black squiggles here. So let's place our two role players. First off we have our households and then we have our businesses. And then our two markets, we've got our factor market and we've got our market for goods and services. Now, as I said in my previous explanation, there is first of all a flow of goods, then there is a flow of, of factors of production and there is a flow of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each of these flows in a different color. So let's start with the very beginning, um, which is your factors of production. Because remember, your households own your factors of production, and they then sell these factors of production on the factor market. The businesses use those factors of production in order to create goods and services. So let's just talk about what these factors of production are. As I said, they are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. They get sold by your households in the factor market. So that's what's happening with your line that connects households to the factor market. Your factors are being sold by households. What do the households receive in exchange for selling their factors? Your households are going to receive some form of income for the factors that they have sold. What is your income that you receive for land? You receive rent. For labor, you receive wages or salary. For capital, you receive interest. And for entrepreneurship, you receive profit. That is the income that your households are going to receive from the factor market. Where did that money came from? It come from, rather. It came from your businesses. Your businesses paid rent, wages, interest, and profit in order to use those four factors of production in their production process. So we can already say here that your red line is a flow of money, and your blue line is going to be your flow of factors. And when we talk about factors, we're talking about our factors of production, which are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. So what did your businesses do with these factors that they have bought? They converted those factors of production into goods and services. Okay, goods and services were produced by the businesses and they do this in the goods and services or, or they do this 
on their premises, wherever they are, and they then take those goods and services to the goods and services market, and that is where they sell them. Now, remember, this market that we're talking about here is not an actual physical building in many in instances. It is just a concept that explains where buyers and sellers are co um, coming together to buy and sell goods and services. It could be virtual. It could be an economy representing an entire country. It could be an economy representing a small neighborhood in a town. But it is not necessarily a physical thing. We are just explaining that that goods and services market and by the same token, this factor market over here is not a, a physical building. It's just an, a term to represent a concept that households sell their factors on a factor market. So back to the businesses and their goods and services, they have um, used the factors of production and they spent money on those factors of production, remember? Your businesses bought the factors of production from your households. And what they did is they've converted them into goods and services, which they are going to sell on the goods and services market. Who buys these goods and services? Well, your households buy them. So your households buy your goods and services. I'm going to just say G and S to... Um, summarize goods and services. So your households buy the goods and services. How do they buy them? They pay money for them. Okay, they use all of the income that they earned from selling their factors of production. They use their income from rent, wages, interest and profit. And they use that income to buy goods and services. That money then is what the businesses earn. It's their earnings for selling their goods and services on the goods and service market. So we've, in short here, explained the whole circular flow. Your green line is your goods and services flow. And the red line is your flow of money. And the blue line is your flow of factors. Now we can add another, com another player, role player, to this circular flow that we've got here. Um, I hope you have guessed by now that we are missing our government. So remember, your government is one of the largest employers in South Africa, which means they are also going to buy some of the factors of production. And they're going to use it to provide goods and services that normal businesses cannot provide, such as housing to the poor, electricity provision, water provision, um, things like that. How do they do that? They earn money. Where do, biz where do governments earn their money from? They earn their money from households and from businesses in the form of tax. We pay them tax. They use that tax to buy the factors of production. So they pay money across to the factor market and by implication, therefore, to households. They pay rent, wages, interest and profit to households when they buy land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. And they receive the taxes in order to um, fund those transactions. They also buy goods and services from the goods and service market. So they pay money to the goods and service market when they buy goods and services. Because your government also consumes things. So there are three flows on the right hand side there between the government and the goods and services market. Because they buy goods and services, they provide goods and services, and therefore there is a flow of funds when they buy the goods and services, that red line and that green line. And that, grade nines, is your circular flow diagram. Our major role players are households, government and businesses. Our markets are the factor market and the goods and service market. And our um, flows are the flow of goods and services, the flow of factors and the flow of money. Just in terms of the flow of factors, your government over here, I should have made that a blue line, buys the factors and it provides goods and services. So that should have been a green line there to the goods and services market.